Good afternoon. I'm hard pressed to find the words to express my gratitude to the President elect and Vice President elect for the chance to be here today. In thinking about the path that brought me here, a good place to start is 12 years ago, almost to the day, when I met with then Vice President elect Biden at his home not far from here. It was supposed to be a job interview to be his chief economist, but it quickly turned into a conversation about economic justice and fairness, which, as many here know, is a common destination in conversations with the president elect. Over the years, we've continued that discussion. Often it takes the form of some policy minutiae. Sometimes it's me hitting him with far more graphics than are necessary, or him telling me to stop speaking economies and start speaking English. Guilty as charged, Mr. President-elect. I suspect the reason we had such a meeting of the minds back then dates back to a common saying in my household when I was growing up. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. I grew up with a single mother, a lifelong educator. There was a picture of FDR on the wall. Her proudest moment wasn't when I got a PhD, it was when I got a union card. Local 802, the New York City's Musicians Union, but that's a whole other story. Of course, if you intend to be part of the solution, you need to accurately diagnose the problem. In that regard, I think the President and Vice President-elect's agenda is timely, resonant, and visionary. Yes, they've stressed the urgent need to control the virus and provide the relief needed to help families and businesses get to the other side of this crisis. But they've been just as adamant that simply getting back to where we were sets the bar too low. We must build back an economy that's far more resilient, far more fair, and far more inclusive. It is precisely the vision this nation needs, and I suspect I'm not the only person on this stage chomping at the bit to get to work on making their vision a reality. Thank you. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.